so hello guys we are going to discuss this problem combination sum 2 and this is like um, I'll just suggest you to go through this link as well neatcode.io practice uh, which lists some of the very important and required topics for to start with uh, let it open um, okay combination sum 2 okay so the problem states is that uh, we have uh, an array which gives number of candidates and we have a target. So we have to return all the combinations of the in from the input array from the input candidates which sums up to a target. For example, if we see 1, 1 and 6 makes it, then 1, 2, 5, 1, 2 and 5 makes up 8 and then 1 and 7 makes up 8 right and then 2 and 6 also makes up 8 2 and 6 it makes up 8 right so these combinations again one important thing here is to note that um, that each number in candidates should be used only once for example if we see that we have 1 1 and 6 and if we tried if we iterate through all the combinations it might be possible that we have again uh, a combination generated for 116 or 1125 will be a very valid example so for example this is 1 2 and 5 one combination and for this one 1 2 and 5 the second combination <coughs> so we should return only one <coughs> that is 1 2 5 not 2 1 2 fives so as we know that all the combinations uh, all the permutations and um, like these kind of problems are actually solved using the backtracking. So uh, if we see the combinations for generating all combinations, for combination sum, uh, like generating all parentheses and queen problem, <coughs> then subsets, uh, these all things can be solved using the backtracking problem. And here also in this problem, we'll apply the backtracking template uh, and see how it works. So before going into onto the backtracking, uh, let us quickly understand what's backtracking is. So let's take this example. So we have, uh, we want to search uh, aim uh, in the string of words. So first way is either to iterate through all the words. So we'll have a and t. We'll go and find that it's not found a and d and a i m. So on the third iteration, we found that this is there. But in the backtracking approach, if we see here on a and n we found that it's not going to the correct direction that is a and a, a i m a i and m and we backtrack from here on backtracking we select the second approach or the second path that is a and i and then we go to m so this is where this is how the backtracking actually uh, goes through all the possible uh, ways and then finds the solution so let's quickly go on to uh, so I have discussed backtracking template, uh, backtracking and its template in a separate video. Let's go on quickly to this uh, problem. So, um, okay, let me move on to the problem directly. Okay. So this is the problem combination sum two. So if we see uh, this kind of a backtracking, uh, this kind of a uh, kind of a backtracking approach or a graph will be generated in this problem. So if we have 10, 1, 2, 7, 6, 1 and 5, so we'll start from uh, something as like a null element, then we'll check whether this element can be in the candidate list since 10 is greater than the target. So we do not move ahead. Then we go on to 1 and we'll check that if uh, the sum and so this is these are the candidate lists so if sum in the candidate list is smaller than target yes it is we'll append uh, another element in the candidate list one two still sum is uh, smaller than the target we'll append another element that is seven so one two seven target and now this candidate list becomes greater than the target we remove seven so once we remove seven we move on to the next item which is six so one two six now the target is also greater than the candidate uh, now this candidate is greater than the target we remove six and we want to the next element which is five so one to one so this is um, that the sum is four and target is eight so still candidate is less than the target we append another uh, element so five so in this case one two one five 
um, it doesn't it's greater than the target and also we reach at the also also we reach at the end so we have to backtrack so we backtrack here uh, there is no other uh, element since we have already exhausted five we backtrack again to one two and on one two uh, we have already taken one to one this one and when when we move to fifth we found one combination and this candidate and we store in the output array so one to five is done all possible paths are done then we again backtrack so two is done we remove two and we add seven so after two we add seven and similarly we go on like this so let me just show you the backtracking template <clears throat> so in backtracking template what we do is we create first uh, the initial candidate or we create an empty candidate then we call the recursive backtrack function in which we provide the first candidate created here start or some other condition right and in so this recursive backtrack function will always return void uh, it takes a candidate there is some base condition in our case the base condition is that if sum of all the elements in the candidate vector is greater than the target is equal to the target then um, greater or equal to the target in both cases we have to return but if it, but if it is equal to the target it have we have to store that candidate into the output vector 2d vector right uh, i'll be solving it with c plus plus then uh, go through all the candidates in the candidate list and if candidate is not valid so this condition means if candidate that is the element is greater than target for example 10 so in that case we'll continue else what we'll do we'll push back the present element onto the candidate uh, onto the candidate list this solution and then we'll backtrack and then we finally we'll remove so let's see how the solution works so okay so this uh, uh, solution is uh, generates all the combination with all duplicates so if we see here um, we have duplicates here right see one seven and seven one these are two duplicates even one two five and two one five these are two duplicates so this solution actually generates all the duplicates let's see so we will start with the empty candidate um, so this vector i is nothing but a vector of integer then we will have a target so our target is 8 since we are taking this array right let me just copy it okay and uh, uh, this is the sum that is the last one uh, and this is the start so starting index and the sum so we'll move here we'll find that uh, our sum is not greater than target our sum is also not equal to target we'll go on to here for i equal to zero i smaller than seven and i plus plus so this is not an invalid target because oh this is an invalid target sorry because num psi that is 10 is greater than 8 so we'll continue now i will become one so in this case what we'll do is we'll on the candidate list we'll push one so our candidate list will become something like one then we'll again recursive backtrack uh, now this is an important step so in the recursive backtrack function what we'll do is we'll pass one then we'll pass all the nums the array which we have in the input we'll pass the target we'll pass i plus one so i was one we'll pass two and we'll pass the sum so sum is initially one so in every uh, call we'll keep on adding the sum to uh, the all the elements in the candidate list to the sum and we will keep on incrementing this index right and whenever the target becomes equal to the sum we will return we will add it and finally we will return the output so this one in this case doesn't handle uh, like uh, the duplicates all the duplicates are there in the output array now for handling the duplicates we have to add this condition here only that is uh, oh th these two conditions this avoids duplicate as well as we have to sort it right so how actually this solves the problem let me let us understand so this is the input array right and this is the sorted array so in the sorted array we'll have one one two five six 7 and 10 
right so what we are what the condition says here is this one so if i is greater than the start so start in our case let's suppose uh, these are the indexes so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right so at i equal to 0 right we found one combination that is 1 2 and 5 which are at indexes uh, which are at indexes 0 2 and 3 right this is one valid combination and we and and all the combinations from 1 and uh, the index 1 are exhausted and we moved on to index 2 right index sorry index 1 so now in this case i will be 1 but start is 0 because we have started from 0 so now what we have is we'll have again 1 2 5 and but this time the indexes are uh, 1 2 and 3 right so in this case i that is 1 is greater than 0 and nums i is equal to nums i minus 1 and this is also true right because nums i that is nums 1 is 1 and nums 1 minus 1 that is nums 0 is also 1 so these two so it means we have to ignore this case because we already have taken all the combinations which are starting from 1 right so if there are some other combinations also we have already noted those combinations in our output so this was one combination so now if we are going to note all the combinations which are again starting from one those will be duplicates right so this will be a duplicate so we can ignore this right so that's how we are trying to ignore it but this only works on the sorted array so we have to sort it first so this is this is a solution for the without duplicates and this is solution for with duplicates so uh, yeah that's uh, that's for this video and also um, i'll be covering uh, about the time complexity of uh, the backtracking algorithm in a separate video thanks a lot have a good day